Hello everyone, my name is Gerald from Multisoft Corporation, your MLM solutions provider. Do you want to know how to configure your commission payment method using your Market Power Pro MLM software? Well, by configuring your commission payment method, you will be able to collect data from your distributors and be able to pay their commissions out. And this is these are the steps in order for you to um, add your own commission payment method. All right. The first thing that you want to do, of course, log in as an admin to your website. All right. And once you're in your website, you should be able now to see the admin toolbars. All right. The first thing that you want to do once you see that is go to company. All right. Go to financial settings. Okay. And then go to commission payment methods. So let me go ahead and click it, and uh, once you click it, you'll be redirected to this page, all right? And the first thing that you want to do is add commission payment method, all right? So let me go ahead and click it. Once you click that, you'll be redirected again to another page where you, and you need to fill out the information about the um, commission payment method that we're creating. All right, so let's say, for example, this is bank transfer. Uh, minimum commission amount, so how much or the minimum uh, amount that they can um, get or minimum amount that they can get out of commission. All right, so um, let's say for example minimum of $50. Okay, and then if you want to make this active, all right, you just need to click put a check on this box right here and set as default this would be the first one that will be appearing if you do have like couple of commission payment methods all right so let's say for example want to use this as default all right administrative fee um, if you want to have no charge or percentage of commission let's say for example five percent or whatnot or a, a fixed amount like uh, five dollars for every uh, commission that commission payout that they have all right, and then uh, once you're done, you just need to click Apply. Okay, once you click that, you should be able to see now the additional um, tab here, which is Attributes, where you can configure what are the details that you need from them. Okay, and then uh, as you would notice, the here there are, I forgot to mention this earlier, that there are two uh, additional uh, checkbox here, like add the same commission payment method to all countries and add uh, attributes also. All right. Well, basically, these two boxes here or checkbox are only applicable if you do have internationalization, like you do have two different countries, two or three or more countries on your um, system. All right. And then um, in order for you to configure now moving forward, the attributes tab. All right, so let me go ahead and click it. This is where you can add those fields that you need to get from them. All right, so I'll go ahead and uh, add custom field. Okay, so let's say for example, uh, bank account number. Okay, then the display name this is the one that they'll be seeing from their end. So I'll go ahead and add the bank account number here. The field type. Uh, will it be a checkbox or whatnot, but usually what we need to add here is the um, text box. Where is the text box? There you go, this one, text box. Data input, um, if this is required, if they need to fill this out, or is this an option, or optional, I mean. All right, so let's say, for example, since we're talking about account numbers, we're going to make it required. Maximum characters, so let's say, for example, you can set up up to 30 characters maximum. All right, and then uh, the field with, it would be, it's up to you, percentage of fix, pixels. But usually we use uh, percentage and we put like 75 here. All right, and description, if you want to provide them short description of what, this field is like uh, this is your bank account number just like that all right and save and close okay so that's it if you want to add another one just pretty simple just need to click add custom field again and you should be able to um, create another one. Let's say, for example, you do have your bank account number and you want to get the bank account name, then you just need to, fill, uh, to add a new custom field.
right? So that's it. That's pretty simple, right? So, and I hope you learned something from this webinar. And um, also, please share this webinar training with your company administrators and support team in order to enhance the services that you provide to your customers or distributors. And we appreciate your feedback and input. And please let us know if this helped and how we can improve supporting you. And if you have any question about this webinar or any other webinars that we have or would like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one training with one of our CSRs or would like to speak with a multi-self account executive, please call us at 239-945-6433 or you can always submit a ticket to helpdesk.marketpowerpro.com. Thank you.